Hi friends, in this lecture we will study how to create a visitor entry register. So I have an Excel sheet in which there are headings like serial number, visitor's name, time in, date, mobile number. Then when he is exiting I'll just type out over here what time he is leaving and some additional remarks. So if I select some name and I just copy and paste it over here or I type the name you can see his time in and the date automatically gets generated. Then I type the phone number and then whatever time he exits I just type out over here and hit enter and the corresponding time gets generated. And if I want to write some remarks, then I can write the remarks as well. Left after delivery. Now, if I type some other name, you can see nothing happens to the previous name. It remains unaltered. And I type a new mobile number and I type what time he exits and I write down the details and hit end. So you can see that the time in the move comes automatically and the time out also comes automatically. And irrespective of any entry which you make, these changes remain fixed. They will not get altered. So let us see how to create this visitor entry register in Excel. So I have already made a sheet with the column headings so that we don't waste time in typing them. Now we will select the columns like we select this column, we press control, select this column, this column, this column, this column. And we'll also keeping the control press select this column. Then I will increase the column width of all the columns. Then I will reduce the column width of this first column like this. The serial number column also I will reduce the column width. The visitor's name column I'll increase it slightly and make it longer. And then this uh, space between mobile number and out I'll reduce that column width as well. Then I select this particular row and I increase the width of this row, the height of this row. And I also increase the size of the font and make it bold and make it middle aligned. Then I select these headings, keep the control key pressed and select these headings as well. And then I click on fill and in fill I select more colors. If I want ad any additional color I can select that additional color which I want. And select OK. And I want to change the font color so I can change the font color as well. Then. I select the cells below this and keeping the control key pressed I select these cells as well and then I click over here and select all borders so we get the borders around all the cells for these cells also we will select all borders for these cells also we will select all borders then we select these cells and we select merge and send up. 
then we have to give the heading visitor entry register so i type over here visitor entry register and i hit enter then i select middle align and then i increase the font size and i change the font to something like arial black okay and increase the font size also and increase the fill to a maroon cousin and the text color i change it to white Now, the serial number column is there. I select the serial number column and I center align it. The visitor name, date, mobile number. I keep the control key press and select out, time and remarks and center align them as well. Now, I type what I want that I'll type one over here. At the moment, I type a customer name. Passport. And I hit enter. Automatically, the time should come here and the current date should come here. So in order to do that, we will construct one formula over here in which I type equal to if and I write down if the contents of this cell that is C5 is equal to blank then do nothing otherwise substitute it with the now function which will put the current date and time I close the bracket and I hit enter now you will see when it is black nothing happens but the moment you enter a name and hit enter you will see a time comes over here now you can select this column and also you can select this column and you can format it to by pressing ctrl 1 and select time and select any time format you prefer so it shows us the current time however the drawback of this technique is if the formula was correct if c5 is uh, equal to blank then do nothing otherwise substitute it with the now function meaning there's some value in that then put the now function but what happens is the moment I enter something in this anywhere in this sheet and hit enter you can see these addresses get changed automatically you can see the timing gets changed see 12 29 19 it is and the moment I enter something it becomes 12 29 26 I enter something in the sheet it becomes 12, 29, 33 and so on. Now, I don't want this to happen. I want that the time should remain static. So in order for the time to remain static, here's what we'll do. So I'll first delete all these contents. And then we'll have to make one change in the sheet. So we click on file we click on more we click on options we click on formulas and in formulas you have this enable iterative calculations ensure that there is a check mark over there and maximum number of iterations you make it to one and then click on ok so what this does is that if you construct a formula in which there is a reference to itself it will not flag it as an error 
and it will take it as a regular formula. So I will click on OK. Now I will construct a formula over here in which I will say equal to F. Then I say the contents of this cell that is C5 is not equal to blank. Means there is some data inside it. Then I also give one more condition within it. If the contents of uh, this cell, the time cell, that is D5, is also not equal to blank. Then, in that scenario, I want that it should substitute in with the value of D5. We'll start. We saw it. We can add that. Otherwise, I want that it should substitute the now function. Now I close the bracket for the inner function and for the outer function that if it is containing a blank that will do nothing. So I give open and close quotation mark and I close bracket and I hit enter. Now you will see the moment I enter a name. The time gets substituted immediately. And even if I write anything random over here, nothing happens to the time. The time remains static. So this happens because of this function. So let us understand the function. What a function says is equal to if C5 not equals to blank means if this cell neighboring visitor's name cell is not equal to blank and then within that so in this if there are two conditions if it is true then it has to do all this if it is false it has to do this so if it is true that we are giving one more nested if and in that we are saying if the contents of the d5 means this neighboring cell is also not equal to blank then put the value of d5 as it is otherwise put the value of now so see this is for the inner function the inner function what it says that if d5 is not equal to blank then put the value of d5 if it is blank then put now and then we are giving uh, uh, the open and close bracket this is for not true condition for the outer if so in the outer if we have said if it is not blank then do these things but if it is blank then just keep it blank and if it is not blank, then we have given another condition. And that is, if D5 is also not equal to blank, then substitute the value of D5 itself. Otherwise, substitute now. So see how this now function becomes operative. Now function becomes operative when C5 is equal to something. Means, it is containing some value. So if the value if it is containing some value then this function becomes the operator and it substitutes a now from the value so if you see if i copy this formula down the moment i type any other name and hit enter the corresponding time comes automatically and all this is because of this function which says that if this contest is not blank and also if this content is not blank then substitute the value of this cell if it's cell otherwise substitute now and if it is blank then just keep it blank so when this cell contains value that time 
this function will get operative and it will put the value of now which is the current time and after that because it's a cycle function then it sees that this is also not blank this is also not blank so it substitutes the value of b6 so that now function will go away and instead of that only that value remains so then that value becomes static and any changes you make in this sheet will not reflect over years and even if you open the sheet tomorrow it will retain these same values now i copy this same function over here for date and then i select this column and then i select format cells so in the whole i go into format and i select uh, format cells and over here i select date and select the format which i prefer and select okay now i'll just copy this down so any time if you type any name over here and hit enter it will automatically take the current date and the current time so it takes the current date and here it takes the time so here when we have copied the formula the formula changes if b5 is not equal to blank and if e5 is also not equal to blank then substitute e5 otherwise now correct now here you can enter some blank values okay now for the out time i copy the same function over here and just drag it down and same function i will copy now date we don't require because the same so now if i type out over years so whatever time he exits automatically will come here same way here i type on same way here i type out and the out type comes here the remarks column you can write down whatever is the remarks okay so hope you have understood how to use this uh, register visitor entering register and how to use mainly these iterative functions that is a function in which the reference is there to itself so here you can see c6 is there if c6 the neighboring cell is not equal to blank and d6 that is this cell itself is not equal to blank then substitute d6 so this is a cyclic reference hence we have to enable that step which i showed you by going in five options and iterative steps you have to put a check mark only then these values will remain static hope you have learned something new if you like this lecture don't forget to like share and subscribe we'll see you again in the next lecture till that time goodbye